Hey, what is going on guys? Monster P and welcome back for a new tutorial. So today I am going to show you how to quickly make a chord progression. Now I'm not pretending to be a beast at music theory, of course not, but I learned so many things since then. So yeah, let's begin. Okay, so the first thing that I usually do is to create a root melody. So a melody that I want my chords to follow and yeah, let's quickly make that. So here's mine. Now what we are going to do is to select them all by holding control and slide your left click over the notes to make a selection and clone them 7 semitones up by holding shift and move the selection up to 7 semitones so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and why 7? Well, just by doing that, we have placed uh, the fifth note of a triad chord. And all we have to do to complete the triad chord is to place the third. So, let's go. And of course, it can be either a minor or a major chord. We could also maybe move this one down and this one up. but let's keep things a little bit much easier for us okay so i changed up a little bit the color for a better understanding so orange will be our root notes the blue ones uh the third and finally the purple one the fifth so let's hear what we have so far Not bad, but we can definitely do something much better and it, it also sounds really basic. So let's take all the thirds, so the blue ones, and move them up by an octave by holding control plus up arrow. So it's a little bit too high for me, I can take all the whole chords down an octave, so control plus down arrow. We are getting somewhere. Now we can take uh, all the root notes. So make a selection and clone them and octave up. So you can keep it as it is right now if it's fine for you. But if you're searching a way to make a melodic chord progression, what you can do the notes that we just placed, we can move them up or down by one or two semitones. So let's try that. If you need some bass, you can take once again the root melody and then clone them down an octave. So the low notes are a little bit too loud for me, so you can hold Alt plus and scroll your wheel down. What we can do to improve it a little bit more is to make a sustained note so it's a note that will be playing throughout the whole chords. And yeah from there it's all up to you if you want to make a top melody, I am not going to. If you're working on a piano like I am right now, what you can do to humanize it is to change the velocity of each note. So like I said earlier, hold ALT and um, scroll your wheel. You can also slightly move the notes off the grid by zooming in, zooming in and move them like, I don't know, like that. Because 
we're not like robots. Our human fingers aren't that synchronized, if you know what I mean. So you can either do it manually or by using the strum machine of FL Studio. The shortcut is Alt plus S. And there it is, so it's not that hard to understand. We have the time knob here. The velocity. And the tension. You can also do the same uh, for the end of the notes and then just clip accept. So if you're working on the synth and you want to make some chops, to keep things a little bit more interesting, what we can do is to chop the chords, like for example, I don't know, let's let your imagination talk and you should be good. So if you're working on the synth, for example, and you want to make some chops, you can hold Ctrl plus U and it will slice the notes according to uh, the snap of the grid. So right now I am on the main, so not that good, but you can change the snap to I don't know, a bit, for example. So let's undo the whole thing and press again Ctrl plus U. And of course you can make also like a selection on some notes, change the snap of the grid to I don't know, this one and hit Ctrl plus U, it'll work. So yeah, I think I'm done with the tutorial, hope you enjoyed it guys. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, leave it down in the comment section and I will try to help you if I can. Thanks for watching and I will see you into the next one, peace out.